Hi friends, Terry Runyon here. Today I want to talk about something I've hinted at in other videos, and it is the recognition of what has been the life changer. And from what I've seen in the people that I've come across, it has been a life changer for them too, because it dismantles the idea that somehow who we are is not good enough, is lacking, that who we are sucks, and we have to do something or acquire something, look a certain way, have the right relationship, have the perfect number of children in a big house to be okay. And this understanding that none of these things will add to you and who you truly are, that you are already complete and whole and free you are freedom itself, you are creativity itself. That is the foundation, that is the truth of who you are, who we all are. And we are all moving in this joy all the time. The only thing that keeps us from experiencing it is an idea that somehow that's not true. An idea that we've been practicing maybe all of our lives and it's clouded our awareness of who we truly are, but it has not done anything to impact or change who we truly are because that is changeless. That is our eternal, infinite space of reality. So what if I was to ask you, what if right in this moment, all the joy, peace, love, freedom, creativity is the foundation of who you are. It is the place you are moving out from. Imagine that. It's not that you won't have thoughts coming up. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Riley. You know it's true, don't you? It's not that we won't have thoughts saying, according to everything I see and all the friends I have, I need to have that newest iPhone. I need to have 10,000 people following me on Instagram. I need to have a bunch of money coming in. That somehow who I am is based on these things. And these things might give a temporary sense of, ah, okay, you're happy for a moment while you've got your new iPhone or whatever. And then all of a sudden that yearning starts again. You wanna come down here? Because who we truly are is not in need of any of this. All these things that we go after cloud the fact that we already are complete, that we already have everything we need, and keep us on this perpetual search for something out there to make us feel better in here. And it's based on a lie. It's based on an idea that somehow we are lacking, that somehow how much money we have, whether we have the most recent devices, if enough people like what we do on social media, all these things that we're constantly being bombarded with through all kinds of different ways, innocently, because people don't understand or don't realize or have forgotten that these are not necessary, nor do they add to or affect in any way who we truly are. So no matter how deeply we feel like we're caught up in the idea that we need to consume things, that we need to get more, that we need to somehow change something about ourselves. It hasn't impacted us. Who we truly are is still peace, is still joy, is still happiness. That is the core. That is the truth. And we've been basically under a delusion, a very innocent delusion, but a very prevalent delusion. So I'm here to kind of blow the top off that whole idea that when we come to this knowing, this understanding of the truth of who we are, then how we move forward in life will be in a way that is expressing our joy, that is expressing our creativity, that is expressing our love for life. This is coming from the knowing of our completion and the completion of everyone. And so we can go out in the world and share with people and love people and care about people, but not as a means of fixing people. It's just to express the love and joy that you are. And this is freedom itself. You are freedom itself. This is the message I have for you today. 
I hope to explore this more on my YouTube channel. Uh, it'll be mixed in with my artwork and we'll see how it goes moment by moment. I'd love to have conversations with you and I look forward to hearing from you. You can comment below and subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on whatever's going on moment by moment in my opening awareness and sharing. And I look forward to seeing you soon.